Hello there, my name is Ismail and uh, welcome to another Blender Daily Tip and today we're going to be looking at how to use curves in Blender. So as you know that uh, if you're trying to trace something like this, it can take you a lot of time, sometimes even years or a few days. Uh, but uh, if you're going to use my trick, uh, it can save that time from years uh, to a few days or a few seconds. Maybe not seconds, but uh, yeah, a few a few minutes. So let's trace this out very quick, and uh, just so I can show you the trick. So let's add a curve. Uh, shift A curve, a uh, Bezier curve. I will rotate this to face me, and uh, yeah, this is what we have. So you want to change this to a. Uh, so let me just show you the usual way or how people usually do it. Uh, they just uh, control, control right click add a, to add a control point there or just hit E and then they start rotating these control points and scaling them down until they conform uh, to the shape they want. Uh, that is tedious and uh, can be time consuming to get it right but uh, uh, the easiest way I found is uh, just have two points like this, convert the curve into a vector handle type by hitting V. Oh, I think there is an option here. Now, I don't know, it's not there. But uh, if, yeah, just hit V uh, to change the control points. I think I remember, yeah, so if you right click, you can go and uh, set handle type and do the, and find uh, the setting there. But uh, if you hit V, you will get uh, the setting uh, directly there through the shortcut. So change them to a vector uh, so that you so vectors are just corner points like this and I extrude them using E and to get uh, those. So we're going to trace this out uh, in a very low polygon way and then come back to it and uh, change the control points and turn them to, curve, to curves where we want, to, where we want bends and uh, retain uh, the corners where we want uh, to have corners. And uh, I found that is the fastest way to to get what you want to trace out any object so i'm going to you want to trace out the peaks or the the points of interest so so the peak here uh, for this curve here would be here uh, as you can see it will be around here and then extrude this to that and then to another peak around there like that like that i'm not going to be super detailed uh, for this dragon here because uh, uh it will take a lot of time and this is a simple tutorial that i don't want to take a lot of time and uh, so I won't do all these here so I'll just push that to here then there then I won't do that maybe let me do that like that so you want to get uh, the contours are uh, the deepest contours and uh, the peaks the highest uh, peaks uh, like that I I'm not doing this because that is also going to take a lot of time and maybe I'll come to I'll come to that after we trace this out uh, just to show you uh, if you missed any details, where, how to add them back. So I'm going to trace out one hand, and uh, if you want, you can trace out the other hand. So just go for the highest peaks and the deepest contours, and uh, add points uh, like that. I'll just skip the other hand, and uh, the legs are also skip. I'll just do the wings like that, like that, like that, there, and that, and uh, that, there, there there and then to close off the curve you just hold an alt and then C to close it off. Uh, so now to have to have this bend just select uh, that corner and then uh, hit V or right click to set the handle type to a different handle type. So V, I uh, want this to be, you can start with that with automatic, uh, that should give you a baseline to start from and then start playing one, playing around with the handle types. Uh, when, you, when you move one handle type of, uh, of an automatic handle type, it would convert that into an aligned uh, handle type. So that's why you, you saw it changed color. Now you can just come in and start changing or playing around with the handle types, moving these handles until you get you get them to conform to the shape. So here I can change this to automatic. I'm using the shortcut uh, V to select to get that to access that menu. And uh, you can see changing this to aligned. You can see how easily this would be. Uh, how easily this is. Uh, change this to automatic. Bring this in. So sometimes these uh, 
kind of bent arrows or normals get in the way and uh, you, you may not be able to see what you're doing. So if you want to switch them off, just go under the overlays and uh, switch off uh, the normals so that you can clearly see what you're doing. Uh, done. I think this can be changed to automatic and uh, then play around with controls. I think you get the idea. Let's see how we are getting that. So let's add, let me show you how to do this. Let's see how easily, how easy is this? You know? Then uh, this can be automatic. And I just move uh, the control point. All right, I think I, this can also be automatic. Yeah, so just do the same things. So if you if you forgot to add details here and I want to add details there, you can just right click, you can just select two of these <coughs> uh, control points and subdivide them a few times until you get what you want, until you get, and, and, th and then you can move those control points. I think if you select the segments like this and then hold control, right click, uh, okay, so just that just uh, duplicates it. I think in 2.7 you can add points. You can you could add points by uh, hmm, by just holding down Control. I maybe they have moved that that shortcut. So, uh, but uh, yeah, if I wanted to add this. Uh, move here, so I will just subdivide that. I'm not doing the other parts, you can do them uh, if you want. Uh, that's how you use curves, and uh, if you want to give it a uh, volume, uh, you can change this from 2D, from 3D, uh, for some reason 3D doesn't support uh, filling in the shape, uh, but if you change it to 2D, it should give you uh, the shape, and for some reason it's not. Let's make sure that uh, we have this. The entire shape is closed. Oh, I think. It's, hmm. Let's see. Yeah, so for some reason they changed. Uh, the fill mode in 2D. Uh, in previous versions, if you change uh, to 2D, it will just fill it directly. But now you also have to change the fill mode uh, because it's set to none by default. Uh, so it's set it set it to front, and then you can extrude it. Uh, extrude it and then if you want you can even add bevels like that and uh, yeah you can see what we have there thanks for watching uh, leave a like subscribe see you